In this tutorial you will learn how to optimize your interior lighting to get noise free result in no time. Using adaptive zoom can rise your render speed up to 7 times faster than before. I'll show you how to work with camera auto exposure and white balance by using APR function and AI denoiser. Now let's dive in! Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you a game changing technique to speed up your workflow. First, I add a V-Ray sunlight. If you had a straight sunlight shining through your scene and blow up the whole space, I suggest you add some trees behind the window to break the light. By doing this, you would control the lights and also make it more beautiful. I add the doom light and assign the V-Ray sky map to it. So from now on the sun will shine through the doom light so there is no need to add some V-Ray light behind the windows and enable the sky portal item to filter the noise. I also enable the adaptive doom to optimize the lighting process which rises rendering the speed up to 7 times. As you see here, the camera exposure is off and I'm gonna render the whole thing without applying any specific settings on my camera. I press the F10 to load the render setup to a start APR function. As you see, the scene is a bit dark, so I need to go to camera settings to manually adjust the camera exposure which can take a lot of rendering time. In V-Ray Next, we have a brand new feature to get the correct gamma exposure and white balance automatically. In V-Ray Render Setup, go to V-Ray tab, Camera, and enable the auto exposure. So you can change the sun direction without being distracted. Also, I can correct the colors by enabling the auto white balance. Whenever you feel it's good, press the transfer to camera to send the exposure to your cameras. For the final production render, I load my final rendering presets and simply press render. You need to change the sky map to HDRI and assign it to your doom light as you see here. Then all you need is to go to your camera and press render. And if you need to change the light direction, change the horizontal rotation in HDRI settings or try different ways I explained in previous video. If you didn't watch it yet and want to learn how to set up V-Ray HDRI and V-Ray Sun, press on the interactive card I put up in here. That's it for me guys, hope you like this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next videos. See you soon, have fun.